uh, our next panelist, which is Arya Azoba. Uh, to say something about her, currently she is pursuing CA, and uh, she was a school's commerce topper in class 12, and she has received three awards for the same. In college, she was amongst the top three in BCom, and uh, she has got honor in Jesus and Jesus and Mary College. She was from a uh, Honorable Jesus and Mary College, Delhi University. She's got Student of the Year Award in school for the year 2015-2016. And at school level, she has won Best Delegate title for Model United Nation. Okay, and was one of the front row uh, singers for the school choir group. Won many debates and extemporary and drama competitions. In college, she was in the organizing committee of the marketing society of the college and organized various events and was also part of an education program to teach underprivileged students for three years of college. So many congratulations for your achievement, Arya. I would hand over to Bharati ma'am to continue with the discussion with your panelist, Arya. Hello, Arya. Welcome to panel. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. First of all, I would like to mention that um, you watch a movie if you find its trailer interesting. So thank you so much for such a nice introduction. And a very warm welcome to all of you and a very happy Independence Day. Special thanks to Devesh Uncle for starting this initiative that unites us all. It is rightly said that unit, united we stand and divided we fall. And this is only what a senior and experienced person could do. And uh, make us all realize that even a small thought can make a huge difference. So thank you so much. Uh, so I am, my question goes to you, like what are the basic parameters one should keep in mind to be successful in his career or her career? Okay, so uh, I think that the first thing that, uh, first and the most foremost thing that a person should uh, do is to uh, see if he has interest in that particular field. Because if you don't have interest in a particular thing that you are planning to pursue and you're doing it just out of like pressure or anything, then I think you should not do it at all. So interest matters a lot. And secondly, you should have some driving force or motivation that, you know, drives you or uh, makes you realize your potential to the fullest. So um, the, the two things... Two things that you have to keep in mind is that you should be interested in whatever you're pursuing, as well as you should have a motivation to go forward with it. The keynote from the ARIA is to keep motivated yourself and be uh, interested in whatever you are doing. Uh, so yes. ARIA, my next question to you is, like how you achieve to be a consistent topper or a consistent performer? Okay, so uh, I would like to tell you a little something about me. I wasn't always a topper. Or, I mean, I was very studious, but uh, that's something that, that was something that was the only thing that I did. So I think that it's not just uh, being, uh, um, you know, a topper that matters because everyone can study, everyone can, uh, I mean, everyone can do rote learning and can get successful, but that's not the only thing that matters. Um, I think I've always been uh, shy, but I've had uh, been keen to learn new things, grabbing new opportunities, and I think I've never regretted failing. Uh, as told by Swami Vivekanand, in a day when you don't come across any problems, you can be sure that you are traveling in the wrong path. So I can tell from my personal experience that I don't regret failing as much as I regret not trying something. And that very attitude has helped me in overcoming my fears and, um, you know, being shy in general. So I remember that till 10th grade, I think I was a very studious person. And that was the only thing that I was. I had a boring bookish life. But in that grade, I got an opportunity to uh, become the class representative for MUN. And it was conducted by a school for the very first time. So I was very skeptical. But I remember my grandfather told me something that uh, stayed with me through all these years. So he told me this really little story that I'm sure that all of you are aware of, but um, it actually motivated me. So I take my motivation from Hanumanji. Um, so uh, my grandfather told me that when it was time to cross the ocean, and search for goddess Sita, everyone was asked. So, sab log zyada, uh, you know, 
they were not very uh, confident in themselves but angad ko jab pucha gaya to usne bola ki main ja to chala to jaunga aur kaam bhi kar dunga but wapas aane ka i can not guarantee to jab wo hanuman ji ke paas gaye aur unse pucha to unhone bola main chala bhi jaunga main kaam bhi kar dunga aur main wapas bhi aa jaunga so he was very sure and he was very happy at that time as well so i think that instead of being stressed you should have uh, you should uh, you know his face was smiling so your heart should be filled with joy and your mind should be confident that you will be able to do things and if you are skeptical it's just like you you have lost your battle before even starting it and if you are confident enough so you have won 90% of your battle so that moment changed my life and um i started taking part in all the extra curriculars i remember that i uh, won a best delegate in mun i got two awards for debates one for extempore and uh, i was my front row singer in the school choir group and in academics as well i think um in 10th grade i got 9.8 cgpa which is like 96% and i was my school's commerce topper so i think that is all that matters so i have not been i've i've been a very sincere kid since the beginning but that's not just that you know you should not, you should be sincere you should be focused you should be motivated but you should also be confident enough to go forward with it because if you're not confident then everything just does not set in place so i think that's everything well then arya very nice talk uh, so Thank i you. would like to sum up the arya's point uh, guys it's uh, it's masses for everybody like as arya said like uh, you should not have regret of your failures you should not have fear of your failures everybody in his or her life face a failure sabhi failure face karte hain and everybody has to live with it but the thing is how you face it and how you take it so you yes, have to take yes. it positively you have to stand up back you have to face it again and fight back so i would say that is a keynote from the arya yes yes of course definitely i think failure is just uh, uh, failure is not the opposite of success it is actually um, it is actually a way to succeed because if you have not failed you have not tried you are not experienced but if you are failing that means you're trying that just means one thing so yeah true i would say if you want what is easy in your life then your life would become hard and if yeah. you do what is hard in your life then your life would become easy <laughs> exactly exactly great great arya so kiran i would hand over it back to you any questions from audience Yes, uh, all the participants. Uh, we have a jitni participants. I would request you all to please uh, uh, start asking questions one by one. Uh, hi, Arya. I'm Harsh. Hello. Hi, Harsh. I'm studying in twelfth, and actually, what's happening is uh, many of my friends they are pursuing. They are uh, trying to prepare for foundations for CA, and now I'm like a bit confused, like whether to pursue CA after our twelfth or after BCom. so uh, that is a good question even i was skeptical at first but i think that um, what do you want to do in life that matters the yeah. most like all your friends are doing ca that does just does not mean that you also have to do it if you want to do it then if you have made up your mind that you want to do it then you can do like you can give the foundation um and then uh, do complete your intermediate a uh, like with the college itself so and you okay. don't have to wait for it no actually even i'm interested to do ca and like yeah uh, it was like many of my friends were also doing that. so i was like tum likh ke bheji gaya ho so if you want to go into the university and pursue regular college i think you should give your 100% to that first and after that obviously you can give ca you can do ca so what are your priorities do you want to do regular college or do you want to you know become ca according to me to become a ca is a major priority but like to do become as well because i'm i'm planning to do ca plus mba in future okay so you can do regular ca 
or uh, I mean, you can do regular college as well as do CA along with it. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else uh, would like to ask a question? Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What is your biggest failure in life? Huh? Excuse me, I didn't get it. What was your biggest failure in life? Okay, so my biggest failure in life, uh, I remember that um, actually it wasn't, it wasn't more of a failure, but it was like I was at crossroads um, once so what happened was I uh, gave CPT and I cleared it. And after that, I had to decide uh, whether I wanted to do regular college or whether I wanted to do CA um, and do uh, college by correspondence. And I was very skeptical. I was confused. And mm -hmm. my parents, I remember my parents supported me and they uh, said, go forward with it. Don't even think about it. Because uh, I remember that getting regular college and that to Jesus and Mary College, that is like, uh, you know, very um, prestigious. So I think uh, that is the that is like not failure. I would not say failure, but it is definitely uh, my lowest point in life because I was so but I'm glad that I have such uh, strong support from everyone around me and I was able to get through it. I hope I have answered your question. Thank you. No, thank you. All right, we'll take the last question and uh, we'll move on to the next panelist. Anybody for the last question? So Arya, what after uh, CA? What anything after specific CA? Practice, job, anything specific you have decided or as of now only CA? CA is just a stepping stone. I have so much in mind, uh, but I'm sure that, you know, CA is the main priority right now. Um, and after that, I'm planning to um, teach uh, the underprivileged and uh, definitely I will go forward with it um, as well as I'm planning to um, uh, open like do my own practice but that is like something I I'm going to plan about it afterwards after I uh, complete my CA. Okay, you don't have to wait uh, for your CA to get completed. You are good. You can become a good teacher at this stage also. <laughs> yes, I definitely can. Best. Thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to it. Sure. Thanks. All right. Uh, thank you, Arya, thank for this wonderful uh, session.